ceasefire, but a humanitarian pause. So we can flow. Uh, we need to see ceasing of, of, of the levels of violence that we're seeing. And now I got to keep it together to take care of my family. But that is a little bit of, that's a lot of privilege because when you see what's going on in Palestine, it really puts it into context how evil these people really are, which brings out a side of me that says, I don't know if I can deal with Joe Biden. I don't know that I can vote for him looking at this, that he's just sitting by and complicit mm -hmm. with this and funding this. Oh, I know the I know the very unique threat that Donald Trump is. I know we have to stop these fascists. I know that the Republican Party is far more worse for America than Democrats. But who's far more worse for Palestinians? They're both the same. Yeah. They both would have allowed mm -hmm. Benjamin Netanyahu to do exactly what he does. So what do you do with that? As American citizens, we're sitting here safely in, in the inside, the core of the empire. And I have the privilege enough to say I got to cut it off or else it's going to turn me. It's going to turn me into something violent. Right. I, that's a privilege. But it's because of the sheer evil of people who look at us and say that we shouldn't call for a ceasefire. The devil is a liar. Mm -hmm. that we shouldn't be upset about 4,000 children dying. Oh, I'm beyond upset. I will meet you in the streets kind of upset. But now we have to be measured and figure out how do we actually stop this? How do we keep it from going? And if we can't stop it from going, how do we punish the people who made this happen in a way that they will never forget what they did? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And the leaders are of the same way that our leader is being complicit to me. Um, in genocide, um, the leaders are, other leaders are trying to keep the same talking point. And I feel like it's out of fear or out of the connection and them being an ally to Israel in some way, shape or form, you know, power, right? So here we are with the Canadian prime minister who mm. struggles to call for a ceasefire and has to like utilize words the same way that Joe Biden caused it a humanitarian pause. Was it mm. a human a humanitarian pause. ceasefire ceasefire? You see, it's a, it's a play on names because remember here in America, wow. they wanted to say when we, when I was standing on 10 toes down in the ground. Okay. Mm -hmm. Of our ancestors. Mm, come on. I was saying they, these are domestic terrorists that were up on at the Capitol on January That's 6th. Right. Mm -hmm. But it sounded mm. so beautiful to just say insurrectionists to a nation of people who don't know what the hell that means. Mm. It just softens the blow. But it's like, hey, let's say ceasefire. Those two words, which is one, ceasefire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it. People are just like, oh my God, like, oh my God, oh my God. But a humanitarian pause. Mm. Okay, humanitarian. You see the difference? No, ceasefire, because what's happening over there is brutal. It's nasty. It's disgusting. It's scary. It's, mm. it's genocide. Cease fire. Period. So let's take a look at the Canadian Prime Minister. Um, we need to see a cease. Uh, we need to see a, a humanitarian pause so we can flow. Uh, we need to see ceasing of, of, of the levels of violence that we're seeing. Um, we need to see civilians protected. We need to see a humanitarian pause uh, to get aid in, to get Canadians out, to get uh, vulnerable people out, to get hostages released. These are the things that the people around the world are looking for. Um, we need to see a cease. Uh, uh, we need to see a, a humanitarian pause. Cease so we can fire, flow. Justin Trudeau. Uh, we need to see ceasing of, of, of the levels of violence that we're seeing. Um, we need to see civilians protected. We need to see a humanitarian pause uh, to get aid in, to get Canadians out, to get uh, vulnerable people out, to get hostages released. These are the things that the people around the world are looking for. To be so stranglehold held and to have this system uh, have your scrotum by a viceroy in a grip like they got Justin Trudeau, that he has to uh, uh, stutter and ch change his words because he's too cowardly to say ceasefire when what is happening is a genocide speaks to just how evil this entire regime is. Now, I'm trying not to go 
to the place that I was at the beginning of the pandemic when they we, we were dealing with George Floyd. And that was a real good mm. example of how evil this regime is, because we saw how they did everybody to suppress that protest. Mm -hmm. Remember, they right. crushed everybody. it doesn't matter if you were a white lady in your mid 40s wearing a you know pink bike helmet in, in they they beat that woman down to a pulp. And it reminded me of just how totally malevolent and evil this regime is. And now here we are two, three years later with an even bigger manifestation of it. They can't even call for a ceasefire because mm -hmm. the regime will turn around and slap them across the head as mm -hmm. evidenced by Justin Trudeau being too scared to say the word. Yeah. I feel like um, the power, this is what we're seeing. And I want to, this is the abuse of power. You're not telling me all of, in other countries, all of our leaders, um, including ours, are sticking beside genocide. They do not want to have a conversation of what's truly happening. We don't want anybody to be hurt because there are other people being hurt um, in Israel too. But Israel has more power and That's they right. can obliterate Gaza. So if we let, if we look at that for what it is, we got to call a thing a thing. And yeah. one thing about America, one thing about America, they will not mm. call it what it is. We won't. We Never. won't. And looking at Justin Trudeau just trip up because he knows at home when he's sitting around the table and having this conversation with his family, he knows it's wrong. He knows. Joe Biden gets to skip, hop, backflip, pull out Kamala Harris every time they want to talk about a damn HBCU. Hmm. Hmm. She goes so, you, so you're funding the HBCU today, which is great. They need it. That's necessary. Right. But don't try to do it while you over there funding the war. Genocide. And it's genocide. On Palestinian people. I'm liable to slap somebody in the mouth that they look at what's going on and say, oh, that's not genocide. How dare you call that genocide? What do you call the complete leveling of a city, its people, its culture, its heritage, its opportunity for life, if nothing else but a genocide? Mm -hmm. But they can't call it that. If we responded to these situations, this regime, which I'm speaking of globally, it's not just Joe Biden. I'm not just talking about the American regime. I'm talking about all the people who are complicit with it. If we gave them the appropriate reaction, we'd all be acting like that little boy in the streets right now all over the yeah. world. The work that we're doing here is not going to stop when it comes to these type of discussions. It's going to be for us and by us here on this platform when the media is telling us to look the other way. Your support is what helps us move forward. Join patreon.com forward slash like it or not. Help us grow.